Hi, my name is Niklas. I'm a PhD student uh, at Aachen University and doing my PhD uh, at CMS. Hi Nicholas, what brings you to CERN? Um, I'm working on a PhD about the search for supersymmetry and uh, supersymmetry is a theory beyond the standard model which can explain some features which are observed in astrophysical observations like for example a dark matter candidate and um, I'm doing a, a search uh, to study how sensitive CMS is uh, to discover supersymmetry in the next year in the upcoming LHC run. So are you based here at CERN full time? No, I'm only part of the time here. I was here for half a year, for example, um, working here at CERN and the other part of the year I worked from Aachen, but in close collaboration with the group here at CERN. So how does that work when you're in Aachen how do you work for CERN and when you're at CERN, what are you actually doing? Um, I work mainly uh, on software development field for the analysis and um, in close contact with the group means that I join the um, meetings when I'm at Aachen connected via a uh, video conference and when I'm at CERN you can talk directly to people, that makes things much more easier. So when you are here you can really have a cup of coffee with people and talk about things. So are you having to do shift work and things like that when you're here? Yes, as well. So um, our group has um, built a part of the CMS tracker and therefore we are involved in the running of the tracker as well. And there I did some, some shifts at point 0.5, that is where CMS is located in the LHC ring. Um, doing some shifts, watching that the detector behaves correctly and also looking at the online monitoring plots with quantities measured by the detector. So have you been using the data from the latest craft or...? Um, I personally have not used the data from craft but our group does. We are also doing um, alignment studies um, where one uh, tries to, to align the detector and calibrate everything and therefore the cosmic run data from last and this year has been used to study. So you say you haven't been using this data, what, what have you been using? Um, I have uh, done some Monte Carlo studies. So Monte Carlo is a simulation of uh, physics processes and the whole detector response. So you simulate your physics which you expect to be produced from the LHC and try to analyze these data as you would do this with real collision data which we unfortunately don't have at this moment. And therefore you try to prepare for, for the physics run in the next year. So what, what are you looking for for your PhD studies? Uh, therefore I look specifically for a, a SUSI model where you um, produce uh, a certain different signature as expected from the standard model. I personally look into um, a final state with two leptons and many jets and missing transverse energy. And there I try to establish an axis above the standard model and try to reconstruct some, some if there is a discovery, I try to reconstruct some properties of this supersymmetric theory. And in this um, summer I have worked on a physics analysis summary for CMS and there I studied how sensitive CMS is in this upcoming run with this lower center of mass energy which we will have and with this small amount of data and there we have shown that CMS is already quite competitive in this region. Is there a particular reason why you're basing your PhD around CMS? Uh, yes, there's a specific reason. I uh, was an exchange student at ETH Zurich and um, there they do their practical courses at CERN and before that I wanted to be a theoretical particle physicist and then I came first to CERN for six weeks for this practical course and it's here at CERN and there's a somewhat unique um, atmosphere and this atmosphere catched me and therefore I joined after once I got back to Aachen, joined the CMS group in Aachen and 
did my diplomacy and started my PhD in CMS. Sounds as though you're really enjoying your time working with CERN. Um, when you finished your PhD studies, do you hope to come and work here or continue your career in physics? Yeah, it would be nice to, to come to CERN for a longer period than for, for some years maybe and work on really LHC data, which we hopefully then will have a larger amount of data and really do studies and see what's maybe exciting for us in physics. And will you focus just on the tracker or will you look at all different parts of the detector? Um, yeah, in our group we have built a part of the tracker, but um, for this physics analysis we use the whole CMS detector. So the physics we're doing um, involves also jets, missing transverse energy, sometimes speed hacking, uh, and therefore we use really the whole CMS detector. So during your time at CERN, um, what kind of things might you do if you have any free time? Uh, if I have free time, I really enjoy, for example, Geneva, because it has a unique structure with the lake around the Alps. I, for example, like to go hiking in the Alps or really simply enjoy Geneva because of its Mediterranean uh, city and it's is nice. It, is it quite different to Aachen? Yeah, it's different. For example, in Aachen there we have um, no larger mountains nearby and also, unfortunately, no water like a lake, for example, and therefore it's different. It's also warmer. So, um, if you were to advise other young physicists who were wishing to pursue a career in particle physics, maybe um, study at Aachen or come and work at CERN, what might your words of advice be? Oh, um, that might be that they always have to be uh, curious and um, really be broad in their minds. So talk to maybe older people, ask them what's interesting, but also to um, try things out and ask different questions than other people do. And so really find their own way of, of doing things and what might be interesting for them. That's important, I think. Thank you. And as we approach the uh, restart of the LHC in November, what would you say the current atmosphere is? Uh, I think it's uh, some sort of uh, prickling excitement which is coming back like in the last year. Um, I think it's an exciting time and with a bit of luck we, we might see uh, exciting results from CMS in particular. And what would be a great result for you? Um, a great result would be really if we see something new, completely maybe unexpected in this upcoming year. That would be an exciting result. So maybe something what uh, nobody has expected. That's great, Nick. Thank you so much for sharing your time and experience with us. Thank you.